Hey guys, it's me, Gamer Laser You. Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Forza Horizon 4, a video I have not done on this channel. I really enjoy this game and I played a lot in my spare time and I decided I would record it. So, it's been about six months since I last created a narrated video. Um, there isn't really much of a reason for that. I just couldn't come around to actually recording a video. So, today I'm making a video on the Apollo IE, the third rarest car in the game. It's actually a really fun car to drive, and it took way too much work just to get this car. I mean, when it came out, I hadn't really been playing the game that often. So, when I did decide to make a video on it and get the car, it took me way too much work to get it. But eventually, I found somebody on the internet who did offer to sell this to me. And there's a really nice subreddit for that. I can post that in the uh, description. Now, I am playing on PC, and you can get it from the Windows Store. And it's actually really fun. So, I'm just heading to the highway. But, I can definitely go and do a deep dive into the stats of this car for you guys who like that. I mean, this car, as you guys can see, is really quick. But really, what its um, main ability is, it can turn really well at high speed. I guess the only issue with this car is, because of how fast it goes and because of how much downforce it has, it literally clips into the ground at high speed. So every time you're braking like 200, 300, uh, 200 miles an hour-ish, you can see the car just start to sink into the ground. This was a similar issue on, I think, the 599XX Evolution, a car that would do that at like 300 miles an hour. But that car is broken for way different reasons than just because it sinks into the ground. Now this car I think came out during Series 8, which was the 8th month of this game being live. Uh, my brother has joined the convoy. I think he also wants to be part of this video. Hey, you can say hi if you want. Hello. So I think we're just gonna be like running down the highway and doing fun stuff like that. I was planning on doing races, but we tested like doing races with recording and it just killed everything like in the recording. So I think we're not going to do that for now. Oh yeah, and another issue with the IE is that if you try to step off the accelerator, it just refuses to turn. Now, that isn't that much of an issue. Now you might be wondering what makes this car so fast. I mean, this car does use an F1 engine from 2008. But the tune I'm currently running has a V12 conversion, so I'm using the same V12 used in the older 2004-ish Gen F1 cars. I don't really remember what Gen used the V12 cars, a V12 F1 engine, but that's the engine being used in this car. So I think I'm gonna head over to the highway now. Let me just set a course for that. Or not, I just reached the highway without realizing it. I guess my sort like I guess my sense of like going to the right place in this game is kinda really good. I don't know. Also I got my face cam working again, so that's excellent. Alright, let's let's go. Oh, so it looks like we got somebody in the Bugatti Devo forming up next to me here. I mean I've had the Devo at one point, but I guess I just saw it. It wasn't too good of a yeah, so, it sells for like 16 million on the auction house nowadays, but uh... Alright, let's go. This car just takes off on the highway. We're already at 200 miles an hour, and we haven't even reached the end of the first tunnel. And this just keeps pulling because of the amount of horsepower it has. This tune has almost 1200 plus horsepower. Oh wow, I've already crashed. My brother's already crashed. crashed. 270 miles an hour already. It keeps pulling too. 266, 267. And here's the clipping issue I was talking about earlier. And there we go, I've fallen off the highway just like that. And when you try to turn, it and, it and it tilts. It just... It just, I don't know. But this My car gravity. is actually pretty great. I think I should probably do a paint for it. I think that would be really cool. When I head back to the hub, we could do a tune. We could do a paint. 
That's good. And this car is um, really fun to just take around. Alright. I can set a grit rip? Yeah, I'm doing that now. Um, this is my brother's first time on the channel, I do believe. To do so. And um, he was on a stream once, I think it was almost like four months ago. Since I've been regularly Twitch streaming, like once a month-ish. But it was like 7 o'clock in the morning and not many people watched it. So I don't know if um, you guys have seen it. And the thing about my Twitch guys is, if I make a video there, it only stays there for 7 days. So I guess if you guys see my streams and want to continue watching it, please do comment on my streams and please tell me if you guys want to see them on YouTube. I did push one of my um, recent streams to YouTube, and that was me playing F1 2018, 2018 I bet. But yeah. And you know, it's a bit easier for me to create content because of the thing. I can't mention it obviously, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, the thing that's been keeping all of us home. But, um, you know, I've been taking it well. Um, it hasn't been too hard on us. Um, I guess like the occasional boredom kind of gets, gets to you, but other than that, I really haven't seen and like, you know, hanging out with your friends is always something that takes all the stress off of it. Our school finished this week, so I'm on summer vacation, which should make weekly uploads a lot more easy. I th I'm thinking I should do a Formula One themed paint on this thing because of how cool it looks. And because of, you know, as a homage to the engine I'm using. And this thing grows insanely high. Like 10 kRPM. I've seen it go to 11k before, but my tune doesn't do that. So I'm gonna be recording a Minecraft video next week, or sometime in the middle of this week. I still kinda have to figure out what my uh, schedule is for recording stuff and posting it to YouTube. But, um, the faster I kinda figure that out, the faster you guys can see more content you guys wanna see. What was that airtime? Yeah, so, I guess some of the physics stuff is kind of broken as well sometimes. Turn left. I just gotta say, what, um, what Playground Games has really done in this game is incredible. Like, Forza Horizon 3 looked good, but this is a whole nother level of good. The cars are all really detailed, their physics models are very different. I guess the only gripe I have with this game is that we're using the engine sounds, but with the amount of cars you have, you can't really go out and keep recording more engines. Alright, so we're here at the hub now. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if the um, frame rate just died there. It happens every time I go to the hub. of a classic car abandoned in this area. Well, actually, I heard it from some old bloke in a poncho. But still, So let's get into the hub now. Let's do some painting, shall we? So let's create a paint. Alright, so let's put some vinyls and decals, why not? Alright, so right side, let's put some decals on here, shall we? Alright, so obviously since this is a F1 inspired rig, let's put some F1 stuff on here. Um, Let's see. Um, I know Bridgestone used to make F1 um, stuff, so. Let's size this down, move this over. Um, I think it'll be really cool, like around here, maybe. Size it down, maybe. Like, you could. I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, like, a panel just full of, like, sponsors here. So let's put the Bridgestone here. So, Bridgestone, um... Let's put a vinyl shape on here, why not? Let's see, um... Let's 
see racing icons. Do I really want to put any of these on here? Uh, I don't know. Let's add some more manufacturer decals. Why not? Um, so let's put Brembo in here. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Let's put an Apollo logo on here. Pretty big, but not too big. If you guys are still watching, I'd just like to thank you guys for like, watching my videos, I guess, because even though I haven't really made that many videos recently, people have still been watching them, which is surprising to me, considering that I really have not really been making um, videos, but... Alrighty, let's do this. Let's put some Monster Energy stuff on here. Why not? I mean, I could do this, or... Uh, you know what? I had a better idea. I think it's a significantly better idea, because I'm kind of a weeb. Uh, let's do this. Let's do a white car. Save to current car. Alright, so we have the paint. Now let's apply some vinyls and decals. Okay. Let's go put some curated groups on here. It's time to embrace the weeb side. Alright, let's put Cheek on here and like pretty big. Alright, All right, I have officially finished my paint. Let's put the left side and then. Okay. Alright, so that we go. So let's put the top hood. Let's put something else here. I think I have just the idea. Let's put 02 on the front. Why not? Oh, that's huge. Why not? Alrighty. Um, let's see, let's put a NOS sticker up top, because why not? Again. Um, so I have a big NOS logo here at like 90 degrees. Or at least as close to 90 degrees as I can get. Let's put that up here. And um, let's add zero two up front. All right, let's put the rear bumper. I don't know about the rear bumper. Um, ooh, the wing. Let's put something on the wing. Um, let's see. I was thinking, an, yeah, an RBR logo on the back would look pretty cool. All right, put an RBR logo up back. Um, yeah, I think we're done here. So, yeah, I have just built the Weeb Mobile. I think it looks pretty good. Well, let's check out each other's paints. Alright. I'm not a weeb like you. I'm not too... You put I a rational... You made a rational build, uh... didn't you? Alright. That's a nice build. Check out my build. Oh, that's a huge zero two in front. Yep, and then I got Chica on both sides, and then Red Bull in the back. Because, you know, I'm epic. Turn around. Red Bull gives you wing, so. wings, am I right? Yeah, exactly. When you have a massive wing up here, you gotta have Red Bull. Well then, um, can you get rid of the group route? Yep, can you get rid of the group route. Alright, and now since we have our really cool paint jobs, let's do some racing, shall we? There we have it, guys. Here's the weed. It's 
kind of a waste of this beautiful car, but, uh, yeah, I think it still looks pretty good. I mean, this thing goes really hard, even now. But, um, here, if he's still following me, I'm gonna set a group route, let's do a drag race, cause why not. Um, so let's say, alright, so let's start here. So let me set a group route here. Turn around when it is safe to do so. The Weave Mobile will never let me down. I will always win in this vehicle. Weed mobiles always let you down. Yeah, right. No way. In 400 yards, turn left. Turn left. So once we get there, I think we're gonna we're gonna do a drag race, and I'll tell you where we have to go. Now this thing can fly. It's maybe because of the Red Bull sticker. Let's go. Let's go through the um. Did you get missed. I did it, because the weed mobile never lets you down. Alrighty, so guys. Sometimes lets you down. Yeah, most of the time lets you down. Red Bull gives you wings, and why is there so much downforce on this car? It's still, it's still a wing, it's just a downwards pointed wing. It gives you downforce instead of upforce, or lift. Whatever they call it, I'm gonna call it upforce for up that one. Force. Watch me call it upforce in my upcoming X Plane 11 bit. That would be hilarious. Sometimes weed mobiles let you down, but when they don't let you down, oh, you're in for a bit for a lot of trouble. The weed mobile will never let me down. When you literally have a god demon on the front of it. All right. All right. So we're gonna start here. Here's the challenge, okay? So stop where I am. So just okay. come in right next to me. So here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go from here, and we're gonna go all the way to the top of the map, right here. Okay, then we better get into the other side of the lane. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. The lights out, and away we go here in um, the group route challenge. I guess. I still have the lead here going in the second tunnel. It's one, two, three, four, five. And this, down by six, is very much the best. Oh, and he tries to go with the push me into the wall tactic, but that doesn't work because he gets lagged backwards. Ooh, and I'm still accelerating. Just gonna have to break this corner. This car is ridiculous. And I'm back in sinking into the ground now. Oh 
Come on, leave the wheel. Don't let me down now. And they're still accelerating across the highway at speeds of over 250 miles an hour. And by the looks of it, we're going to have to turn right here. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh no! Oh, and I'm in the lead now. Surprise, surprise. Oh, come on, that was Ed. Oh, I just got hit by a crab trap. Hat lol. Crab traps are still in the game. I know. They said they fixed them and then they didn't. The um the headlights used to always like clip on and then they to like sides of roads and then they Oh I took a wrong turn. Please wait up for me. So I took a wrong, a wrong turn as well. Oh, sure. No, I seriously no. did. I landed- Oh, no, I, I messed up. Wait, stop, stop, seriously. I literally, like, landed on the wrong side of the map. Just stop where you are. Or not, you can keep going. Well, no, that was- the mobile has let you down for the first time. No, I didn't. I crashed. That was my bad driving. Never, never blame it on the Weebmobile. And the Weebmobile is sure accelerating faster. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, come on. It was the right turn. And guess what? The Weebmobile wins the race in reverse. Oh, sure. The crab trap. I know, I hit like two. But, um, yeah, guys, like I told my brother, the Weebmobile never lets you down. Even in a crash, the airbag is deployed because only the Weebmobile can have airbags. And I have a little idea. Alright, what's the idea? You gonna fight um, back with your MX-5 RX-7 clone? Let's do a drift fest. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna do a drift battle before I end the video here. I mean, the video is getting pretty long, so I think I'm gonna like have the video for like three more minutes, and then I'm gonna end it. So... What you're gonna do is switch into any formula drift car. Alright, let's do it. Two forty SX time. Hey. Now I love the Nissan two forty SX. It's one of my favorite cars. Um, because it because it's super drifty. Um, I like the Ferrari M nine nine GTB Verano. Take the first exit. This thing does nothing but drift. Uh, yeah, do you mind? Removing the group root? Uh-huh. That's gone now. That's good. This is not gonna be a race, this is just gonna be how long you can drift. We're gonna go to some sort of drift zone. Alright, let's see what the closest drift zone is. Um. Alright, so the closest drift zone is. I don't, I don't have any. Oh, no, there's one. It's in 8 miles, so let's go. Actually, no. It's kind of too far, so here's what we're going to do, okay, guys? We're going to continue our drift battle in the next Forza series video. So I'm thinking of turning this into a series. Please let me know in the comments if you guys want that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. Um, thank you guys for watching.